.NET Full Stack Developer Interview Question and Answer Series. Welcome to .NET Brains, guys. Uh, this video we are going to uh, talk about .NET Full Stack Developer Interview Question and Answers. I have gathered uh, 200 interview question and answers. These are the most frequently asked interview question and answers, uh, which will be useful for software developers. Uh, with the freshers as well as uh, experienced these are the topics which i have gathered um, those are design patterns and dotnet core web api microservices angular dotnet framework azure sql and quality and performance related questions we'll start the lesson one uh, with design patterns these are the design patterns like creational structural and behavior patterns design patterns divided into three categories creational structural and behavior generally the first question what are design patterns patterns are about reusable design and interactions of objects design patterns are solutions to a software design problem problems we find again and again in real world application development design patterns gives a proper and proven solution to a problem ensure loosely coupled application development easily understand and easier to maintain develop new features all these patterns are talking about creation of objects and classes question number two name few design patterns we talk about creational patterns we uh, have abstract factory builder factory method prototype singleton and mostly singleton is hot topic and we're gonna discuss on abstract factory and singleton in detail in coming slides structural patterns adapter bridge composite decorator facad flyweight proxy uh, we are going to discuss on facad and proxy behavioral pattern chain of res response and uh, command interpreter in iterator mediator and observer strategy visitor so we are going to see observer pattern question number four why is the singleton pattern considered to be an anti-pattern this is a very interesting question and generally we talk more on singleton patterns so singleton pattern uh, creates a class which can have a single object throughout the application so that whether any other object tries to access the object of the class it will access the same object always singletons are basically used as global variables using global variables is an enemy of encapsulation the use of singleton makes it difficult to unit test cases unit test classes because classes must be loosely coupled allowing them to be tested individually singletons are bad when used with multi-threading because with just a single object the opinion or the options of threading are limited singletons decreases the performance singletons promote tight coupling between classes hence the singleton pattern considered to be an anti-pattern moving to the next question can we have singleton class with public constructor well we can but then it is not a singleton class the idea of a singleton class is that only allows a single instance of the class to exist so making the constructor public that by allowing the outside world the class to call the constructor and create as many as instances in software engineering the singleton pattern is a design pattern that is used to restrict the instance creation of the class a singleton is the combination of two essential properties they are ensure a class only has one instance and it provides a global point of accessing to it and you can have a lock keyword which prevents the creation of multiple object multiple instance of an object question number six how singleton is different from static class and question number seven 
what you will prefer for sharing static class or singleton pattern these are most frequently asked questions singleton is a design pattern which solves the problem in a particular context when you want that only one instance object can be created across the application whereas static class is a concept where class will be defined with static keyword and all the members need to be strictly static members static methods singleton pattern let us create the object of the class only once where whereas we can't create the object of a static class class which follow singleton pattern can implement other interface interfaces where whereas static class cannot there is the question which number seven what you will prefer for sharing static class or singleton pattern first of all both allows us to share but i personally prefer singleton pattern because we can derive our singleton class from other interfaces and so we get the polymorphic feature secondly singleton class may contain some non-static members as well as and most importantly we can control the life of a singleton object it can explicitly destroy it in between the application instead of locking it we could also try to create a static read only singleton so this is about sixth and seventh questions coming to the eighth question why do we need abstract factory design pattern factory method and abstract factory design pattern are about creating objects abstract factory is a very central design pattern for dependency injection it's all about dependencies if you don't care about tight coupling and dependencies then you don't need to abstract fact you then you don't need any abstract factory pattern classes but it will matter as soon as we write an application which needs maintenance abstract factory pattern is particularly useful when the client doesn't know exactly what type to create the main difference between factory and abstract factory is that factory method is a single method and an abstract factory abstract factory is an object abstract factory is a creational design pattern which solves the problem of creating entire product families without specifying their concrete classes the client code calls the creation method of a factory object instead of creating products direct with a constructor call generally it promotes the loose coupling by eliminating the need of bind application specific classes into the code moving to the ninth question what is a facad design pattern generally the meaning of facad is the faces something like uh, the principal front of the building uh, that faces on the street or open space facad is the face this is the most asked question a facad design pattern is a structural design pattern which is implemented to represent a complete subsystem as a single class this is efficient in case there is a huge number of classes in different areas the client is calling the facet class which interacts with multiple subsystems making it easier for the client to interact with them when we wanted to use this pattern use this pattern to simplify the problem when there are multiple complex subsystems and interacting with them individually is really difficult and the real time use of facet design pattern is example the shopkeeper is a facet for all the items in the shop online travel portal is a facet for their customers for different holiday travel packages customer care is a facet for their customers for different different services moving to the last question of this lesson why service locator is an anti pattern for dependency injection a class accepts that a class accepts the object objects it requires from an injector instead of creating the objects directly dependency injection is a design pattern used to implement inversion of control i was it allows the creation of dependent objects outside of a class and provides those objects to a class through different ways using dependency injection we move the creation and binding of the dependent objects outside of the class that depends on them dependency injection which compares with the service locator design pattern this is also very very important when we are moving to senior software development or technical or architecture level 
when we use a service locator every class will have a dependency on your service locator this is not the case with the dependency injection the dependency injector will typically be called only once at startup to inject dependencies into the main class the service locator pattern is easier to use an existing code base as it makes the overall design looser without forcing changes to the public interface code that is based on the service located pattern is less readable than the equivalent code that is based on the dependency injection these are the 10 questions from the design pattern in lesson one uh, thanks for watching lesson one and we have lesson two also on the same uh, a decent pattern and uh, thanks for watching the series also please like and subscribe dotnet brains thank you